All right. So the first thing I would do with this problem is look and see if there's anything that I can factor out, particularly with the denominators, all right? Uh, the numerators I'm not so concerned with yet, okay? Uh, and also I'm not concerned with these because they're just regular numbers for now. So what I notice right here is that I've got a 4x squared minus 9, which is a difference of two perfect squares. So I can split that up. So that's, this is the first term. And I'm going to subtract this from 4 over uh, 4x squared. That would be 2x quantity squared. And then 9 is 3 squared. So that gives me 2x minus 3 and 2x plus 3. All right, we still have the rest of this. All right, so now that we have that factored out, we can see what's missing from each specific term. So this first term, that is a 2x plus 3, which means it's missing a 2x minus 3. But if I do it to the de uh, denominator, I need to do it to the numerator as well. And then over here on the right, I've got this 2x minus 3, which means it's missing a 2x plus 3. So I need to multiply it by the numerator as well. Now I have three terms. All three terms have denominators of 2x minus 3 times 2x plus 3, which, yes, if we multiplied, would have that 4x squared minus 9. But I can rewrite this now without any denominators. All right. Now, I didn't write that 1 times 2x plus 3 just because it's the identity property multiplication. So from here, I'm going to uh, distribute that 3 into the purple parentheses which would give us 6x minus 9, and this is minus 4 equals the 2x plus 3. And uh, again, this is just going back to regular problem solving strategies. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides now. If you wanted the x's on the right, you could as well. And that's going to give me 4x. Um, I guess I could have combined the 9 and 4, but I didn't, so... Oh, I'm going to add 9 and 4 to both sides. And this would equal, the x is canceled out, 3 plus 9 plus 4, 16. And then divide both terms by 4 gives us x equals 4. Checking again, hopefully it's not too bad because we can use a calculator, so 2 times the 4 plus 3 minus 4 over 4 times, well, 4 squared minus 9 should equal 1 over 2 times 4, which is x minus 3. So skipping a few parts on that gave us this. Uh, if I scaled this up, I would have 15 over 55. And 15 minus 4 is 11. A little bit more space. 11 over 55, which does equal 1 fifth. So our answer of x equals 4 checks off. You may not need all those fractions because of calculators, but there you go.